Um, my room downstairs, uh, the Cosmic Cavern, is something that I've been doing for over 30 years. Uh, it initially started in a closet. So the first rooms were called closets because the first room was a closet that I, I was living in a old uh, townhouse in right near Bryant Park, near Times Square. Uh, I shared it with Keith Haring and it was very rickety, ramshackle kind of 1840s kind of building. Uh, everything was falling apart. It was like the same toilet from that and the same, the banister and like the, like it was just rotting, but it was a great space. And I found in this old house, there was a closet, really large, but it was full of junk. Like you open the door and it was, so I was like, you know, real estate in New York space. It's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to clean this space out. So I emptied all the crap in there and some of it was interesting to keep. Some of it I threw away, but then I found this room and it was pretty large closet, small room. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do with this? And I have been, had been, uh, making art out of uh, garbage. I'm fascinated then and am now with garbage, with things thrown away. So I had been collecting these things, and I came upon a blacklight uh, from the 60s with a poster, a black poster. And the, the closet had no windows. It was dark. So I put the light in there, and I started playing around with the uh, fluorescent paint because the, the black light had a little tempera fluorescent paint. So I started playing around and then all of a sudden I, like, I got, I started painting these pieces of trash and the objects and it started accumulating and uh, then everyone started to want to hang out in this room and so we started hanging out in the room and we had started parties and doing like psychedelic trips in there and I was making videos in there and it just started to become this thing and then uh, I, the, the, the street it was 6th Avenue it, it, I felt that the city was so intense that I was using this environment as almost like an artificial nature a place where I could go and uh, leave the world and it's kind of a there's kind of a peacefulness in chaos so when you see the room downstairs it is chaos but at the same time for some reason it it gives me peace so I find that all the chaos and all that noise <clears throat> all the stuff it becomes this one thing and it kind of became becomes and is a refuge from the rest of the world it has become this thing where I can go now and to different locations, any location, any room, uh, give, give myself a, a week or two and create these, these environments.